Want to turn casual viewers into loyal, high-paying customers without drowning in endless content creation? Well, by the end of this episode, you'll have a clear path to building trust, driving sales, and creating a customer base that keeps coming back for more. Because when you do this right, you have leads who enter your world on a Monday and buy your highest price programs by Thursday. And your current clients, they become brand loyalists, buying from you over and over again. Because you're creating a process that not only seamlessly moves people to buy and buy again, you're creating relational trust in an unheard of rate, a total win-win. So your revenue increases working with gold standard clients, and those gold standard clients feel really freaking good about buying from you. So how exactly do we make this happen? How do we turn those casual viewers into customers who trust you enough to not only buy once, but come back over and over again? Stay with me because I'm about to break down a strategy that will transform your content into a sales machine and get your audience excited to buy. Now, hey, hey, and welcome back to the Business Real Talk, where today we're going to break down the strategies that top performing businesses are using to scale and retain their clients without burning out on content. And I'm Naz Echeverria, and last week we talked about the dark secrets of the catfish effect and how this rise of the fake gurus has changed how people buy. Now, it was a tough conversation, but one that needed to be had, and we discussed how ethical businesses can move past this trust recession using the trust trifecta so that you can actually eliminate the hesitation and create a fun and empowered buying experience. Now, diving deeper into this idea of transparency in the buying process, we want to talk about how to create a content strategy that not only gets eyes on your offer, but gets your customers to buy faster, stay loyal longer, and bring in consistent revenue using episodic content. Because trust is king, and we're about to break down a process that puts you in control of how quickly you can build trust with a cold or lurking audience. Now, let's face it. The digital world is noisy. Your audience is bombarded with hundreds of posts, ads, and videos every single day. So how do you stand out? More importantly, how do you create content that actually leads to consistent sales? Here's the cold, hard truth. One-off content doesn't build long-term sales. It doesn't position you as an authority, and it doesn't keep customers coming back. Sure, you may get a spike in views, but that's not going to sustain your business. You're not going to increase your sales. You're not building authority. You're just another face in a crowded digital world. You're not keeping your customers coming back, which means you're stuck constantly chasing new leads and sales rather than growing a loyal customer base that buys repeatedly. And here's the truth. One-time content doesn't build momentum. Because if your content requires people to follow your train of thought, it's slowing down the buying process. Think of it this way. Right now, you're creating content based on what inspires you. Maybe it's a new idea or an insight or a topic that you feel like sharing in the moment, and that's great. But what you're essentially creating is a digital feed of your thoughts. Now, the problem is your audience isn't privy to all the twists and turns that you took to arrive there. They're coming in mid-conversation, missing the backstory and not fully understanding the context. It's disconnected and honestly a bit chaotic. Now imagine that you're trying to follow a story, but every time you read a page, it jumps to a completely different chapter. It's hard to know where you stand, what's important, and ultimately, if you should even keep reading. Now that's the experience that your audience is having right now with your disconnected content. They're constantly piecing things together in their heads and that doesn't make the buying decision any easier. In fact, it can slow down or paralyze the buying process altogether because they're left with more questions than answers and you're not giving them the full picture. The path to purchase feels unclear and it's like giving them a puzzle with missing pieces and asking them to figure it out themselves. And let's be honest, most people won't. They'll just drop off unsure and confused looking for a better, easier solution. Because right now, you might be posting something on Instagram, writing a blog, sending out an email, creating a podcast here and there. But after a few likes and views, your audience moves on. The conversation has ended right there, and so does your opportunity to influence their buying decision. Instead, you need to be able to create a series of connected, engaging episodes that builds on the last, pulling your audience deeper into your world. But 
When you create episodic content, you're building that thread. You're guiding your audience step-by-step, episode-by-episode, making sure they have all the necessary pieces of the puzzle to make a clear and easy decision. See, each episode is adding context. It's answering questions and it's reinforcing trust until they're not just ready to buy, they're excited to do it. Now, it's a series of connected and well-anticipated needs that your audience is naturally going through, each building on the last, pulling your audience deeper into your world with each episode. It's like you're leading them down a clear, well-marked path. There's no guesswork. There's no uncertainty, just one step after another until that final natural decision to buy. Think of it this way. Just like when people binge watch their favorite TV series, maybe it's Stranger Things or Nobody Wants This. They're not second guessing whether or not they'll watch the next episode. They're already in. They're hooked. They trust the show. They know the story and they can't wait for the next episode. Now, what if you could create content that does the same thing? Each episode hooks them. And by the end, they're so invested in your story, your method, that making a buying decision feels like the next natural step. Here's a simple way to think about it. Every time you drop an episode, you're planting a seed of trust in your audience. Each episode is building on the last, taking them deeper into your world. They're buying faster because they've quickly been able to establish a relationship and trust with you. They don't need to be convinced again. They're already sold. Your content has done the selling for you. They're not just buying a service. They're buying into a relationship. And that's the power of episodic content. It turns a viewer into a loyal customer. Let's say that you run a fitness business. So your first episode might focus on the five-minute morning workout to boost your energy, something that your audience needs right now. And episode two might dive deeper into how to eat healthy on a busy schedule. Each of those episodes are speaking directly to their specific needs, their struggles. It's helping them take that next step and ultimately moving them to make a purchase in 90% less time. But it doesn't just stop there. Episodic content isn't just about information. It's about building that relationship so that by the time you pitch your offer, your audience is already on board. The buying decision feels natural because they trust you. And here's the best part. Episodic content doesn't just get you one sale. It helps you build a loyal repeat customer base because when your audience is following your series, they start to feel like they're a part of your story. They don't just buy your product once. They become brand loyalists. It's a lot like inviting people into your world on an ongoing basis. You haven't stopped the conversation. Each episode continues to build on that relationship, making it easier for you to retain your customers because you're no longer focusing on quick sales. You're building a loyal following who will come back to you time and time again. I like to say that one of my biggest flexes is that so many of my current and past clients still listen to every single episode I put out. They look forward to each of those and the anticipation leads to repeat sales because customers who are invested in your content are more likely to stick around and keep buying from you. Heck, it's said that episodic content can actually increase customer lifetime value by over 30%, which makes it quite literally one of the most effective tools in your business. Imagine this, what normally takes weeks or even months to achieve closing this big sale can be done within a matter of five days. See, I've seen it happen, and I'll tell you exactly how. With a simple episodic content strategy that not only builds your authority, but also increases conversions and keeps your customers coming back for more. I call it bingeable decisions. The concept is simple. Episodic content plus micro-compounding content equals bingeable decisions. Now, whether you've realized it or not, right now, If you've been inside of my bingeable decision system, let me show you how it works. From this weekly episode that you either watch or listen to the micro compounding content that you read on social media or in my emails or in other places around the web, those two pieces work hand in hand. And here's the key. These two strategies feed into each other, creating this back and forth relationship that drives results. So let's break down how they actually work together. The first part of the equation is episodic content. This is your big picture. Each episode is tackling these specific problems or desires that your ideal customer has. By addressing these core needs, you're effectively creating content that aligns directly with their buying triggers. Now here's the key. Each episode 
doesn't just stand alone. It builds on the last, guiding your audience seamlessly from one decision to the next. Think of it like a roadmap. Each episode is a step on the path that's leading them closer to making a buying decision. They're not just getting information. They're getting clarity. They're getting context. They're getting trust, which ultimately makes that buying decision easier and faster. Now, the best part about it is that you're not only creating a long-term selling asset, but you're also leveraging it as a short-term selling asset by combining it with micro-compounding content. See, episodic content on its own is creating the long-term asset that allows you to create conversions over time. But when you combine the power of episodic content with micro-compounding content, it becomes like a gateway. See, what it does is it creates these shorter bite-sized pieces of content that you're able to share on your social media, sending in your emails or sharing on your blog. Now, what it's doing is it's creating these little sparks that are igniting curiosity, that are guiding people back to your longer episodes, but also creating a micro decision pathway. So let's break it down. Micro compounding content works in two important ways. Number one, driving traffic to your episodic content, no longer creating these beautiful episodes that nobody actually sees or doesn't see the light of day because there's no traffic driven to it. Now your content strategy combines with your episodic content to drive traffic back to it. So every post, every email, every interaction is leading them back to the main event, your episode. It's like having a magnet that pulls them in. And the second piece of the puzzle is leveraging micro compounding content to create micro decisions. See, every piece of content that your audience goes through inside of your system should be helping them make a small decision because each piece of that is building upon the last, creating this opportunity for you to compound trust, for them to go a little bit deeper and even be able to understand that concept in a slightly different way. You're taking the episodic content and you're breaking it down along a content pathway, allowing people to create these micro decisions. So now what ends up happening is each of these micro decisions are adding up over time, making that bigger decision to purchase feel so easy. It feels so natural because you've literally allowing them to make micro decisions along a pathway. Imagine being able to do this. Imagine having a process that takes what typically takes weeks or months and being able to move buyers within a matter of days. And the best part about it is it takes less content because you have your main episode and then you have your supporting content, AKA your micro compounding content that supports them as well. And the best part about it is you're supporting two different consumption styles in making decisions. The people who just want one singular thing and allows them to see the full big picture and make a decision. And you're supporting people who require that slower feedback of being able to go through the process over a five day period of time. You're allowing your audience to make decisions on their terms. This is why I call it the bingeable decision system, because you're creating bingeability, whether it's through five pieces of content that are actually creating micro decisions or through your content, your episodic content that's driving decisions as they consume those different ones. Each piece of those smaller pieces of content are working together with your episodic content to create this back and forth relationship. They're feeding into each other. Your micro content pulls people into your episodes while your episodes deepen the relationship and move them through the decision-making process. It's why my clients come to me shocked that within just a week of using this bingeable decision system, someone who just met them on a Tuesday signed on to work with them in their $10,000 program on a Thursday. Their system used episodic content and micro compounding content to build trust quickly and effectively, making it so easy that clients feel good. It feels natural saying yes within a matter of days of meeting you. Their content system did the heavy lifting. Because listen, it's not about creating endless content. It's about creating the right content that works together, driving people to take action by with confidence. It becomes an easy yes. That is the power of the easy yes method. The first one is to win the market. You know who never has to compete for attention or market space, who never gets compared to others or who people buy from, pay more for, and without any hesitation? 
innovators because innovators set the standard. I call this your innovative advantage. And over the last 20 years, we've perfected our approach to help experts bring to life and market their innovative gap methodology, their tangible method that showcases and articulates their innovation. It's how clients like Sarah are able to 10X their prices and have clients who chase after them because they've created a solution to an otherwise unsolvable problem, creating their innovative advantage. Next, it's about automating conversions with the bingeable sales system. Now today, we talked about the importance of episodic content in the buying process, but imagine what happens when you have two bingeable and episodic systems that work together. This is how you leverage the power of the Netflix effect to seamlessly convert people through your automated system that then feeds those not ready buyers into your back end decision system, using this episodic content to drive conversions. This is the bingeable sales system. And it's like having a 24 seven sales team that works to support buyers who enter your world to make fast and empowered decisions. Now the grand finale is your delivery system because sustainable businesses are built on reputation and your ability to deliver the results you promised in the buying process is even more important than the acquisition process itself. This is why having a systematic delivery process that prioritizes client results is what we call the happy client machine. And it's the answer to delivering world-class results at scale without it being dependent upon you every single step of the way. Because your delivery system is the application of your innovative method. And it ensures a streamlined approach from the first time they meet you until the last day that they work with you, creating raving fans who buy from you over and over again and share your work with anyone who will listen. This is the easiest method. And if you're ready to take the next step to learn how the easiest method could be applied inside of your business, I wanna invite you to book a growth optimization call with me. This allows us to discuss where your opportunity points lie within your client acquisition process so that you can bring in premium ready to buy clients who sell themselves using the EZS method. So if you're ready to book a call and find out how the EZS method can work within your business, head on over to EZSleads.com forward slash call to book your call. But if you're new around here or want to learn a little bit more about how the EZS method can help you get your leads to sell themselves, head on over to EZSleads.com to check out the free bingeable mini series right now. And stick around because in our next episode, our 100th episode, we'll show you the rise of innovative experts and how the cream of the crop are about to see a major shift and how you can actually jump on this wave instead of getting left behind. But until next time, here's to keeping it real.